Hello and uh, welcome to my third video. Who's just going to do a uh, straightforward engine service of the Defender TD5. I've uh, bought uh, just a straightforward kit online, it's 20 pounds. It's got air filter, fuel filter, oil, and this is the centrifugal filter, which is really simple to change. And it comes with a the low ring to replace that. It all comes as one kit. You get it off an auction site, so I'm sure you know the one. And also a, just a little replacement compression washer for the oil drain plug on the stump. Um, pretty straightforward. You don't need too much. I've got a strap, so I'm going to try a new technique out. You make a loop like this. And I think the idea is to slide it over the top and then catch it behind itself. And then hopefully when you pull it tight, you should be able to get enough by torque, should get enough torque on there to twist it off. But I'm going to try and do it by hand as well because uh, I think it might just come off anyway. We'll see. We've got straightforward tool set, socket set, a few screwdrivers, um, and a, a cloth, something to catch your oil in, old bucket, or whatever you want really, as long as it doesn't leak. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we're doing today. I'm just going to take the cover off. Oh, and it's a bit windy. I'm just going to take the uh, cover off just so we can see a little bit better. So the oil filter is buried, and it really is. It's right down here, right in. Let's have a big slow zoom in so you can see it. It's in there. Can you see it there lurking at the back? Black with some writing on it. You can just see the shape of the finger hole, sort of squidge square marks. It's ever so awkward to get to. I'm going to try and crack it off by hand to start off with. Um, it might go, and then uh, if it doesn't go, I'll try that strap on it. But I'm just going to try and do it by hand, see if I can tweak tw it off. Oh, it really is tight in there. And see, you, you can get your hand around the back and get two hands on it. I do know, that's really, I've just done that really easily by hand. No problem, that's off already. So, no need to do that strap on it at all. For me, that was probably too loose. Anyway, there you go. I'm just going to loose it off and I'm going to run the engine up to warm the oil up. Okay, so I've run the engine up. I've just warmed it up. It's not hot, hot, just warm. And I'm going to pop the filter off. It's, the manifold's warm, the exhaust manifold, but I can, it's not too bad. Um, there's the filter. I've just put some old towel and rags underneath because I reckon it's going to leak. Now I've seen people take these off cold and replace it, you know, just leave the engine cold and just take it off put a new one on. I've run out warm, I, I don't know, I think whatever you do you're going to get oil coming out somewhere or other and uh, I've just got the other oil filter just there waiting to go in. So I think you just want to run a bit of oil around this rim here when you take it off just to help it seat and uh, it's in there so I'll get around the back just try and tweak that off what's actually undoing already there we go let's see that coming off well, i'm just wondering about whether i should put this down i'll probably need two hands for this so it was a bit oily <laughs> funnily enough we got a bit mucky but that cloth i put a cloth and squished it all down that caught most of it and when you sort of lift it and bend it it's a bit tricky to wiggle it out when you have to bend it forward and oil comes out but a bit of old rag there picked up most of it and uh, I'm just gonna take a little dollop of oil off here just gonna work that around this just take some of my fingers just there we go just to place it help it seat down it's fine and I'll just screw it back down and tweak it up hand tight job done Okay, so that's the oil filter change. The engine's still nice and warm. Uh, we're just going to undo the filler cap just to help. It shouldn't have any vacuum problems. It should breathe quite easily, but um, I'm just going to take it off a little bit just to help it anyway. And then uh, I've got my new compression washer, 17 mil spanner, and uh, spanner, socket. So I'm underneath the car underneath the defender and there's the, the uh, stump drain it's just there i'm going to get a 17 mil on there i'm going to plunk it off and uh, just underneath it i've got a bucket it's going to catch all the oil so, uh, 
Let's just see how this goes, shall we? Loose now. That was hard work. I had to use uh, all my strength to crack that off. And I think next time I'd use a 17mm ring, ring spanner rather than a socket. Get a bit more torque on it because there's plenty of room up here to get a spanner onto it. So you make uh, easier work for yourself. I nearly took the skin off my knuckles. Anyway, let's, let's pull it. I've got the bucket down below ready to catch it all. Hopefully we'll get it. it seems to be in about the right place. So uh, here we go. It's going to absolutely pour out, I'm sure. It's going to be a bit messy. I'm pushing it in against the thread so I can feel it just start to click once this thread's gone. And then I can lift it straight away quickly rather than it all running down my hand. Oh, that's it, it's ready to go. There we go. As it is, it all ran down my hand. I've also got a load of cardboard on the floor just for leaks or spillages. Just handy, isn't it? So seven litres of uh, oil should come out, hopefully. And uh, we've got seven litres to put in. There's the uh, drain plug. There's nothing on it, there's no magnet on there or anything, thought there might be, but it looks okay. And there's the compression washer on there, which needs to be replaced. So what that does is, uh, when, when you put one on there new, it's copper and it's soft. When you tighten it up and nip up the stump plug, it's, it compresses the copper and it seals it up tight. But you do have to replace it every time, otherwise, um, well basically next time we try and squash it up and compress it, it won't compress because it already is compressed. Um, so if you imagine it's like a donut that you're squashing, you're squashing a ring donut and then once it's squashed you can't re-squash it, so you need to put a new one on. Okay, that's why you get one in the kit. So don't forget to replace that and don't leave it off either. Okay, so whilst the oil, filter, oil sorry, is draining out the stump, just getting the last bit drip out. Might as well get as much out as we can. We'll do the air filter. So, usually just pop the clips. There's one there, there's one on the other side, there's two here, and you just put it out of the way. And this should just lift up. And there's the oil, air filter it's just in there. And just uh, lift it out, put the new one in. And there's, uh, I mean, that's only two years, there's not much in there really. Probably oh, doesn't need replacing. But what I will do. We're just going to clean out what's down in there. I'll just give that little hoover out whilst I'm here. Just take out all those bits. And then uh, pop the new one back in, do them all back up. Easy. Okay, so that was harder than it should have been. So there's all these little tabs. And there's one here. There's one at the back here. There's locators at the back and if you don't get the filter properly lined up and push down in there um, and get these tabs they all go on the outside and if they're not all in the right place it's just such a pain it really is but just take a bit of patience get all the tabs lined up a bit of squishing a bit of wiggling and you'll get it on nice and straight and square and hopefully next time it'll be a lot easier that was a bit of a pain that was anyway all done air filter in sorted well you're well on your way now to finishing up on the land rover engine service so see part two to wrap it up